replacing a lead screw shear pin. A special shout out to Andrew for starring in this video. And before we get started, please take a moment to like and subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out. Okay, let's get started right now. Okay, we've uh, set up and we're ready to go. This is a two start. Uh, we have all of our gears in place. Everything's ready to go. We start up the machine and we engage our split nut. And we notice that the lead screw is turning intermittently. Well, unless your gear is not in place, it's possible that you have a broken shear pin. Okay, now that we've determined that the shear pin's broken, let's see how Professional replaces this pin. So we're replacing the pin. How did you line the pin up? So if you look closely on the hub and on the Acme screw, there are two little punch pricks. Oh, so, on every machine? Uh, no, but as I replace them, I put the punch prick on oh, okay. so that I orient the, the hole because the hole is not perfectly the hole is a one-way hole okay? okay so the idea is to align them with the punch brick so that I can orient them quicker in a, in a repair situation so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line up those holes as best I can then I'm going to turn the assembly 180 degrees and drift out the broken pin segments I've aligned the uh, pinch hole or the uh, prick punch marks and I've rotated the assembly 180 degrees, so now I'm on the, uh, the back side of the hole. And I'm gonna hope that everything lines up so I can drift out the uh, three pieces of broken brass shear pin. And I'm gonna rotate it without losing the alignment if possible. Okay, it looks nicely aligned. Now the pin that comes with uh, this manufacturer sends a couple of replacement pins with each lathe and they have a knurled segment on there and that's the hole that's uh, in place. So I'm going to drive it through smooth end first and knurled end is the finish. I want to bury the knurl because the knurl is what holds the pin from spitting out. I thought these were tapered pins. Some are. These these are um, um, parallel or almost parallel, but it's the knurl section that holds it in. I mean, okay, so I'm going to tap it down so it's flat, flush. I'm happy with that. Roll it 180. Okay, now I have to I have to remove off that excess material. So uh, what I do is I just I just use a hacksaw blade. I just take a hacksaw blade and I saw it off. It only takes a minute to cut through this, and then I file it so that it's deburred, and then the pro the job is done. Wow, did Andrew make that look easy? Uh, it only looks easy because he's done it hundreds of times. If you like this video and you want to see other great videos, check out my YouTube channel, Shop and Math. If you have any tips, please leave them in the comments section below. That would be greatly appreciated. If you've not already subscribed to my channel, what are you waiting for? All you have to do is click on the icon on my face and I'll do the rest. And don't forget to hit the bell so that you can be notified of new videos. And a special thanks to Andrew. Without him, this video would not have been possible. Thank you and have a great night.